A dog on the loose in Wolcott leads police to quite a fine. News 8's AJ Walker is live in the New Haven newsroom. She's got more on the officers who tracked this dog to the big bust. AJ. Well, Stephanie and Darren, and most of the couple who owns the lo loose dogs, could have gotten a citation for allowing their dogs to roam unattended. But when Animal Control came to their house to speak with them, they found almost 50 pounds of marijuana. Now that couple is dealing with a lot more than just dog problems. Discovering a drug house at 131 Cancelero Drive was easier than expected for Walcott Police. They say the pot dealer's own dog led an officer right to it. Had responded up to Cancelero Drive on a dog complaint. And then while he was there and out in plain view, what we found were uh, uh, several plants in the upstairs portion of the house. There was four in the kitchen, one in the living room, two on the back porch. You could smell inside the home. The, the pungent aroma of marijuana. Police say when animal control officer Caesar Barrows, who's also a sworn police officer, tracked down the loose dog to speak with its owner, he was shocked that 32 year old Sabrina Tomaszewski and her boyfriend Mark Alberto were growing pot right on their back porch in plain sight. What would have been 50 pounds? They were plants all in different stages. You know, each plant would. When it comes to full maturity, it would end up being around a pound of uh, marijuana. Walcott police say they got a search warrant to enter the home, and once inside, they found incubators with baby pot plants, racks of plants in mid stages, and those at full maturity that could easily be sold. It's, it's obvious that they weren't going to smoke it all themselves. They also found these two handguns, and police say though Sabrina Tomaszewski had permits for them, her boyfriend Marco Berto has a felony. It was in the house. He can't have any access to any type of firearms, which he he lived in the house and the guns were there. As for the dogs, police say they were free to leave, but their owners weren't so lucky. Both are charged with two counts of possession with intent to sell in operation of a drug factory. Marco Berto is also charged with criminal possession of a revolver for those guns they found in the house. Coming up at six, we'll hear from a neighbor who has a surprising reaction to the pothouse in his neighborhood. It, live in the newsroom, AJ Walker, News 8.